Hey family, what's going on Klauser? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are on Jasper, my Town Hall 9, and let's play Town Hall 9. Now, I've got a ton of Dark Elixir, 100,000 to be exact, and my queen will cost 95,000. So I'm going to take this queen to level 19 here in just a few short moments. But before we do that, I'm going to be using my beloved Lunian because I've had so much luck with Looney lately. I mean, I was using like Queen Walks, I was using Goblin Knife, and I wasn't finding good loot. But as soon as I switch over to Lunian, it's like, boom, the loot was everywhere. So let's go out and let's find a couple raids. It's uh, it's gonna be a blast. No, that's not what I look for. Let's find something better than that. No? Okay, hang on. There it is, guys. A dead, not dead, it's not dead. It is actually a fully alive town. Hold on, look at the expos. We've got ammunition. We've got a level 15 queen. However, we're sitting on over 700,000 elixir. 4,600 dark elixir is not bad either. So what we're going to do is we're going to prioritize the dark elixir. Because check it out. We've also got dark elixir drills in the external. Uh, two dark elixir drills that are available from the outside. And then obviously we, we need that uh, storage as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our Lunian from this far uh, this far left hand side. We're gonna come at the base basically directly at this queen and directly after the storage Okay, put down all but okay. We we only saved one, but we saved one minion. All right, let's poison this queen Let's drop a rage over all these Let's also drop a haste on this far side. We can actually drop one more rage So where should we put this last rage? We really need to get that dark elixir out of that storage But it looks like the sweeper pushed all of our balloons off to the side there are these oh oh they're under rage get it get it boy oh the minions were just absolutely epic there okay let's drop this rage spell it's actually gonna they're gonna backtrack and then they come back and they're gonna wipe out some just some stuff it's gonna be glorious so check it out oh yes wow <laughs> under rage these balloons do work okay so um is it even possible to get a three star if we had one more rage spell we might get three star but I don't think we have enough firepower. We've only got our queen. Generally, what I would do is I'd use my king to do the tanking. And then I'd use my queen to do some shooting. And we might get three-star this base without the... Well, with both the king and the queen. But we only have the queen because the king is upgrading to level uh, 16, I think. So, we can't quite do that. But what we can do is we can continue cleaning up the, uh, the trash on the outside. Which happens to be very valuable trash. As it is uncollected gold mines and elixir collectors. And we'll probably not get this. Actually, you know what? We're going to get every single collector in mind. That is amazing. Because check this out. First, these minions. Are they going to go? Oh, they're going to split up. That actually works out really, really well. Because we're going to get that loot out of the storage. They're going to make the way around. We have no limit for time. We're good. Unfortunately, this expo survived. So it is going to start shooting stuff down. But here's what we'll do. We'll put the queen on the far side, and she is going to make her way around this base. We're going to grab that dark elixir drill, and then hopefully even make her way through and get this elixir out of this collector over here. She's doing a great job. Now, wait. Is she going to go for that storage, or is she going to go for the uh, the drill? I don't, or the collector. I don't know, but she is getting the dark elixir. Let's, uh, let's pop her ability at the very last second. Queen, what are you going to do now? Is she going to go left or right? She's going to go right. Nice. So she's actually going to die uh, putting off a few more shots on that elixir storage. And look at that, guys. With the loot bonus, we're actually only 8,000 elixir away from maxing out our elixir storage. That is amazing. Plus, look at that loot. Look at that loot. That is amazing loot. That's amazing loot. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with that loot. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like, we, as soon as I jumped onto the Lunian bandwagon again, it's been a while. It, it, all of a sudden, things started happening for me. So, tons of Dark Elixir, tons of gold, tons of Elixir. And that's what's been happening, guys. I mean, so lots of gold, not a lot of Dark Elixir. There's a good Dark Elixir grab. 4,875. This one's actually a Town Hall 8.5. And what I did was I decided to prioritize the side with the Dark Elixir. But also, it's the side with the Dark Elixir storage. Everything's on the same side. Drop that poison on the Queen. We've got balloons making their way through. Hay spell layer in the beginning. And then we'll drop a Raid spell in the middle to help out with these balloons getting through there's a haste for that bottom group and then another rage spell hopefully to get rid of that expo because honestly the expos are really really deadly against minions trying to snipe dark elixir out of storages but unfortunately that sweeper on the outside did a lot of work guys so what we need oh oh queen that's right minions op okay so what we need is we really need that storage to go down there we go now is this barracks gonna go down as well i really hope it does go down barracks yeah yeah perfect okay 
Now, where can we use our last minions? I believe, yes, we're going to take out the storage here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to send our queen directly through this wall. Now, these are low-level walls. This is a town hall 10 hanging out with level 8 walls. I mean, that's terrible. So this queen's going to bite through them very, very easily. She's going to burn through them and go directly at the storage. And we're going to get a ton of Dark Elixir every... What's up with this name? Poop stain. Poop stain. Didn't we, didn't we just recently have an, a video where somebody's name was Poop Stain Magoo? Like, what's, what, <laughs> what's the deal? What's going on right now? That is so funny. Poop Stain Magoo. And then now Poop, just simple, simple and straight Poop Stain. Part of the Maple Syrup Mafia. I mean, this guy's got swag. I'm telling y'all right now. This guy's got some swag. But look at this queen. She's just sniping Dark Elixir left and right. Every shot getting like 100 Dark Elixir. She's going to get through the storage. Now, can't she get that, uh, that town hall? She should have. But, unfortunately, this expo survived the Lunian portion of the attack. So, the queen's going to make her way through. She's going to actually be engaged by the enemy king and the expo. And then, she's not going to get through that. I mean, she's going to pop her ability now. Take care of the enemy king. And that takes uh, four good shots. And then, she starts back onto the town hall. But, unfortunately, that expo locks onto her. And then, boom. So, we got about halfway through the town hall, which was pretty close. But, not quite. So... All together, though, 4,400 Dark Elixir plus a loot bonus. We almost had 5,000 Dark Elixir up against Poop Stain here. Poop Stain did not defend. He got a 54% one star. He did a decent job, I guess. But, I mean, again, this is a Tunnel 10, and I'm a Tunnel 9. So, I would say we did a fairly good job. So, I've got my army. My queen is... Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to use my queen. She comes in the clutch so often. But I'm not going to use my queen this time to show you guys that Lunian can be used without the queen, without heroes. Because right now, I've got a king upgrading. The queen's asleep. Let's go ahead and request for some troops for the CC. And um, you know what? We should probably attack without that, too. I mean, we're not, like, really, really high up. But before we do that... We need to spend some loot because we've got full elixir storages. Now, if you look and see, I've got a wall notch because this is where we left off last video. So, all these, one, two, three, four, five, six walls have been upgraded between videos. I just want to make sure you guys are aware of that. So, six walls were done. Let's do our seventh using elixir. And we shouldn't max out our gold storage. I just doubt it. I highly doubt it. But let's go ahead and do it just in case we find a monster. I don't want to waste any gold. So, let's go ahead and do that as well. So, there we go. We've spent a little extra. Now, let's Let's go out and find ourselves a base and or a base yeah yeah a base we want to find a base no cc that's fine we did get the poison spell so that's perfectly fine this is kind of like how to farm without the heroes and without cc troops and normally i've got both so this is going to be a lot more difficult so let me find a base uh that's got decent loot but, but mainly like usually i'm just looking for bases with the right amount of loot but this time i not only do i need to look for a base that's got the right kind of loot but also need to look for bases that are easy enough to take on without my queen that's kind of a big deal considering my queen's pretty beast. So, uh, oh wow, 500,000 gold, yeah. Not enough Dark Elixir. Oh wow, that's that's a lot of Dark Elixir, but can we beat that base without our queen? I doubt it, because that's the Tunnel 10 with Inferno Towers. We're going to have to pass up on this base. Unfortunate, but that's the way it is. And here we are, guys. Princess Cupcake. Oh my goodness, these names today have been legit. I have so much fun with this, but look at all this loot, guys. Golden Elixir. 664,000 gold, I mean, that's amazing, but 3,200 Dark Elixir, and a lot of it is in that storage zone. Now, we do have to worry about the queen and that sweeper pointing up, but I think if we just go straight at this base, we can be fine without our queen. So, let's do a uh, two-finger deployment on either side here. Just kind of go directly in, just like so, and then let's let our balloons approach. Let's get our minions in, just like so. Let's save a few of those minions, and then drop some haste spells, okay? We've got some mega haste spell action going on here. Let's put down another haste spell, and then let's also put oh where are y'all going guys where, where's everybody going you're 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 leaving my group of, oh my goodness my balloons paths i was so newbie with my deployment that my new my ah <laughs> oh my goodness okay well can five minions beat two archer towers i i seriously doubt it i i mean i know it's not gonna work but let's just do it for fun so Go in there, buddies. You got this. You got this, guys. You got this. Are they even damaged? Like, oh, wow. We, got, we, had, we had to get rid of the Builder Hut first. Okay. Well, that was not at all what I was expecting to happen. Fam of Assassins totally trolled me. Princess Cupcake, you did good. You did great. You defended your Dark Elixir. You did a great job. Uh, we do have minions going on either side. We should be able to get the 50% at least. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to get this gold mine. We're going to get the, the camp for sure. 
These minis will go up for the elixir storage. Are they going to get shot? Nope, they're going for the gold mine, and that was the bad decision on their part. Minion. Oh, oh, minion. Oh, minion. You're doing a great job, but you're about to get totally roasted. Bacon, minion. Minion bacon coming right now. Watch this. Watch this. Watch the bacon. Boom. Bacon. Wow, so we got totally trolled by Princess Cupcake. It literally... Literally just my balloons went nah. I can't be bothered with those archer towers Let's go down and hang out with the mortars or whatever it is. They went after I was totally troll, guys Let's use this as a learning experience that you always need to be, be careful about how you deploy your troops That was a really newbie mistake by me and I do apologize However, I am human and that happens but the good news is guys the good news. Oh my goodness I'm so embarrassed. Well, the good news is that I've got plenty of dark elixir that I can still do the work that I want to get done. So let me collect everything. Oh my goodness. So are there are there more balloons I can talk to? I have literally no armies trained up or anything. I guess let's get the next balloon. I was going to go talk to the balloons for a second. Okay, listen balloons. Next time I need you to destroy an archer tower, you need to destroy the archer tower. Okay, that, that no excuses. I don't want to, no, no back talk. No back talk from you, son. You understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? Good. Glad we got that settled. Okay, let's do some upgrades today, guys. Last episode, we actually finished our, all of our traps. We're done with traps. And you guys so nicely let me know in the comments that level 7 wizard tower is maxed for Town Hall 9. So unless I was being trolled, that means that that little guy is going to be maxed. I can move him out of the way. Also, our baby dragons are going in the laboratory. We got four days and nights and hours before that's done. So we can kind of just chill and not worry about that. And we've got enough dark elixir to upgrade the queen so that they're both going to be going down at the same time. or both asleep, both upgrading at the same time that's wonderful so that's great that will obviously be our finale so that means that we need to spend elixir and gold i don't have any reason or anything to spend elixir on because we've done all the elixir upgrades so let's spend all of our elixir on walls and that's going to be six i believe that's going to be six million walls six million not walls six million elixir on six wall pieces let's do this guys three two one bam there we go Nice. Okay, so that was six plus like the five that we did off camera. So that was actually really, really good. And then now let's continue to upgrade defenses. They're super, super valuable, guys. Upgrading these wizard towers 3.7 million gold, six day upgrade, going to max for Tunnel 9 in three, two, one. Bam. All right, and do we possibly, if, if the fates are with us, guys, we will have, aw, uh, we don't have enough. If I collect that now we don't have we don't quite have enough e or gold to upgrade another wizard tower I like to get them all done but we don't have enough gold so we're gonna have to move on and we're gonna have to do one of these arch towers and we just so happen to have just enough gold to upgrade one of these wizard towers and that's or, or archer towers and that's great so let's go ahead and do this guys level 11 archer tower 60 upgrade 3.5 million gold and I don't know if level 11's max I don't know probably but we'll see so let's find out guys in three two one bam and actually, that works out really, really well. Let's leave that guy there. That works out well because I've only got one builder to go. We've spent all of our gold. We don't have enough elixir. Actually, we do. We do. We have one more elixir for a seventh wall in today's video. Today's been super productive, I have to admit. Except for that fail. We don't want to talk about that fail. One million elixir, guys. In three, two, one. Bam. There we go. And then last but not, certainly not least, let's upgrade Betty. She's going to go to level 19. She is like... She's like past adulthood. She's getting it. She's almost 20. Like she's starting to feel old. All right. 19, level 19, 95,000 dark lecture, seven day upgrade. Let's do this in three, two, one, bam. There we go. We got 12,000 spare Dark Elixir. Remember, we actually need to upgrade our Valkyries at 60,000. So that's kind of what I'll be working toward because the, the uh, Baby Dragons can be done in four days. And then this girl this girl is about seven days. So we got plenty of time to accumulate some Dark Elixir to upgrade our, you know, our Valkyries or whatever might happen in the laboratory. I don't know what's going to happen next episode, but... Anyway, um, oh, by the way, if anybody wants to know in the, in the, if anybody wants to know, yes, I did leave that fail in the video because I wanted to show you guys that everybody fails on occasion. It happens. And I, I, I don't feel ashamed of that because I've showed so many, what I think were pretty awesome attacks in my opinion that on, a sh on occasion showing you guys that I do fail too, I don't think it's a problem. So Hope you appreciate that because it's it's actually quite difficult for somebody to show themselves failing on purpose you know what i mean but anyway that's it for me guys thank y'all so much for tuning in like the video if you liked it subscribe and join the class family if you have not done so already and as always guys i will see y'all again
next time. Thank <music> you.